गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स एज आई प्रोमिस यू टूडे आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस द वॉइस चेंज ऑफ इंटरोगेटिव सेंटेंसेस ओके सो लेट्स टेक अप द सेंटेंसेज एंड इन कोर्स ऑफ टाइम आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग टू यू हाउ टू चेंज द वॉइस ऑफ द इंटरोगेटिव सेंटेंसेस लेट मी रिमाइंड यू वंस अगेन आई हैव ऑलरेडी डन अ वीडियो ऑन दिस एंड दिस वीडियो इज स्पेसिफिकली टू गिव यू द इजी टिप्स ऑफ चेंजिंग द सेंटेंसेज बिकॉज आई हैव सीन इन द पास्ट फ्यू मंथ्स थ्रू एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन विथ माई स्टूडेंट्स दैट दिस मेथड विच आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इज हेल्पिंग द स्टूडेंट्स टू सॉल्व द सेंटेंसेज इन अ मच मोर फास्टर एंड ईजियर मेथड so if i tell you when did you lose your money okay so first change this sentence to a normal full stop or declarative sentence when did you lose your money so did plus lose is the verb plus first you identify this because as i keep on repeating in all my videos that is the question sentence they have this verb separated by the subject because in a question sentence a subject comes as a trust breaking friend to separate the two good friends the two parts of the verb so did lose and the subject you comes and he says i will not allow you to to sit together i will sit in between so did plus lose go to two two directions and you comes and sit in between so i will not allow you to to talk i will be the main focus but the moment question sentence changes to statement sentence we we get back this to did lose so that is lost right so if you change this to a normal sentence what will it be normal i mean declarative you lost your purse keep aside the question word when did you lose your purse you lost your purse that will be the sentence so if i would have asked you to change this sentence to in direct uh, a passive voice what would you have done your parts was lost by you so why did we do this why did we put this extra effort because children do not understand what will be the passive verb so from these two extra steps which i do mentally or with a pencil on the answer sheet i understand okay then was lost this will be the passive verb now the rule is just before was you put the question word when was now was lost after was you put the object of the mother sentence what was the object your purse so when was your purse lost by you so it becomes very simple so if i tell you how do you solve sums so easily so do plus solve present tense solve so what is the normal sentence you solve sums easily put aside the question word so if i change sums are solved by you easily easily by you so are solved that is the passive ver verb we are doing this through extra steps to obtain or derive the passive verb so are solved so now we are first putting the question word how are so of between are solved again question sentence so the subject is going to come what is the subject the object of the mother sentence so how are sums solved so easily by you now if i tell you why are you spilling the milk so what is the verb are spilling right so you are spilling the milk so if i change that milk is being spilled by you so what will i do after is i will be putting the subject that is the object of mother sentence so first i put the question word why is the breakup will start right after the first part of the verb why is then i put milk the object of the mother sentence becomes the subject in the answer so why is milk being spilled b i n g spilled by you now if i tell you why were you singing song yesterday evening why were you singing songs yesterday evening so you were singing song yesterday evening mental steps we are doing to obtain the passive verb so you were singing song so songs were being sung by you were being sung yesterday evening by you so first the question word 
why where being sung i have told you break from the first word right at the first word you break so why were songs being sung yesterday evening by you why were songs what is the subject object of mother sentence why were songs being sung by is yesterday evening by you so why are you doing this two extra steps to obtain the passive verb because i have seen students make a mistake in obtaining the passive verb in question sentence if i tell you have you seen my purse so question word is not there so you have seen my purse so have seen so if i tell you to change this sentence my purse has been seen by you so what will i do has after that object of mother sentence my purse been seen by you has my purse been seen by you understood now if i tell you has she completed her homework has she completed her homework so let's change she has completed her homework so if i ask you to change this her homework has been completed by her so from here i get the passive verb has been completed this is the place where students go wrong so now has her homework after has i have told you put the break up has her homework been completed by her so have i been able to tell you explain to you how to derive the passive verb and how to break the passive verb into two parts remember was stolen is stolen are stolen am stolen after was is are put the break up and there you insert the object of mother sentence which becomes the subject of the answer is being stolen are being stolen was being stolen were being stolen after is was are were put the break up insert the object of mother sentence have been done has been done had been done after have has had put the break up insert the object of mother sentence as the sub subject of answer you just need to do two things in case of question sentence derive the passive verb correctly put the break up correctly what is the rest of the work you have to do first if there is a question word put the question word blindly then you put the first part of the verb break up first part then you put the object of the mother sentence as the subject then rest of the verb then rest of the sentence just remember to put the agent or by part at the end of the sentence and don't forget the question mark the problem arises in case of who who sentences like who solved this puzzle so what will i do in this kind of a sentence someone solved this puzzle so the puzzle was solved by someone so i've got the verb was solved so in this kind of sentence in the first part you cannot say who was the puzzle solved no so by whom you have to change who to by whom was again the same rule after was you put the object of the mother sentence by whom was the puzzle solved as simple as that so first you derive the passive verb now for those students who are over smart they are thinking why shall we do this i'll tell you if i tell you when was she cooking the dishes so in this case many students do when was the dishes being cooked by her because they forget that the dishes is a plural subject so if you change she was cooking the dishes so if i change the dishes were being cooked by her in question sentence you make the mistake not in the statement sentence so if you take the channel of the statement sentence then chance of mistake will be minimum will be nil so the dishes were being cooked by her so what is the verb were being cooked so first i put the question word when were the dishes being cooked by her so were being cooked i break up at were i insert the object of mother sentence which is the subject of the new sentence when were the dishes being cooked by her again another one why did she tell lies to me why did she tell lies to me so i will not say if you just directly change it many students will write 
why was lies told by her to me told to me by her they will say so just apply the trick she told me lies so lies were told by her lies were told me by her so what will i do revert why i have got the verb were told so let's break at where why were lies told me by her understood now coming to another portion of passive voice sentences which is creating a confusion my father gave me a present on my birthday we have two objects here me and a present direct and indirect object so whenever the students are changing many are doing a, a gift a present was gifted to me on my birthday by my father but renan martin is telling us an object was gifted me on my birthday by my father so what i suggest to my students don't take this risk simply you write i was gifted a present on my birthday by my father now you will say ma'am how will you understand what you are saying put use the indirect object as the subject my father gifted me a present which is the indirect object obviously the living being and non living being is the direct object the simplest way of finding out there are some other preposition test but the simplest way is living and non living make the living being the subject i was gifted a present on my birthday by my father she told me a lie i was told a lie by her easiest way now in this video i will also discuss one more thing quasi passive rose smells sweet what will be the passive now here sweet is not the object it is rather subjective compliment so what to say rose is sweet when smelled this is called a quasi passive sentence boiling water feels hot so boiling water is hot when felt use that verb in the passive voice passive form and here you write is i hope it is clear to you uh, the cake tastes delicious the cake is delicious when tasted i hope you have understood and i hope my elaboration my explanation of the change of voice of interrogative sentence is now going to help you let's do a few more can you lend me your book or rather can you lend your book for a day so what to do first let's change you can lend your book for a day so if i change this your book can be lent for a day so can be lent is the passive verb as i have told you break from the first word so sorry can your book after can you put the object of mother sentence as the new subject can your book be lent for a day can you can your book be lent for a day by you can your book be lent for a day by you understood now if i tell you will you pay the bill or shall you pay the bill so you shall pay the bill right or let's change it shall i pay the bill so i shall pay the bill so what will i how will i change i shall pay the bill so if i change the bill shall be paid by me so what is the passive verb shall be paid so how to break from shall shall put the object of mother sentence shall the bill be paid by you so now can you understand the two extra steps we are going to do first change to a normal sentence obtain the passive verb now break the passive verb as i have told you write at the first word and insert the object of mother sentence as the subject of the answer put the question word in the beginning then the first word of the verb then the subject that is the object of mother sentence then the rest of the verb remaining sentence by you or the agent at the end that is the formula question word first part of the verb the first word only very easy to remember then the break up you are inserting the object of mother sentence as the subject rest of the verb then you put the rest of the sentence and by part at the end so why are we doing this extra steps for two simple reasons to obtain the passive verb and to understand where to break okay to understand the orientation mostly to obtain the passive verb and under the understand the orientation is it clear to you if you have any doubt don't hesitate to drop in the comment box 
until then stay safe and take care